Good morning, my name is Sheldon, and today is June 14th, 2019, the 30th day of being 28. Can't believe it's already been a month, but it's currently about 5.30 in the morning, I'm just eating breakfast. It's the usual chocolate oatmeal with blueberries and bananas. My dad always makes my breakfast in the morning. And that's the funny thing about parents, don't you think? You ask them to stop doing something for you. They don't really listen. But yeah, 30 days of being 28. Hmm. It's been interesting. I'll explain that later. So lately, I've been having some strange thoughts, or just been having thoughts in general. I do enjoy being single at 28. I guess it's not what I expected. But then again, I didn't really know what I wanted to do by the time I've been this age. But <clears throat> sometimes I do wish that I was in a relationship. It's just nice to see when people get all cute with each other. <clears throat> However, that's just not where I'm supposed to be at the moment. Just got to figure out what that's all about. But yeah, it's just strange, don't you think? <clears throat> to how like those thoughts creeping in. Can't help it, I guess. That's just a human need, a basic need. What do you think? been good. Yes. It's just hard to talk to someone about it. Especially when you don't know that many people that are kind of in the same situation as you are. I don't know. This train is for Waterfront. Yeah, we're just coming to the mall and all the stores are just closed. I think it's my favorite part because the mall is so empty. And it's just nice to hear like the actual music being played in the background. Oh, yeah. It's nice, isn't it? Maybe that's why I like mornings. It's nice and quiet. Just going home now. Gotta run some errands after work. It's been not a bad day actually. Busier than I thought, but still good. Um, I'm in a better mood than I was this morning, so I can't complain about that. Otherwise, just really hungry. Perhaps I need to stop eating spinach salads for lunch. Yeah, that'll spice that up for sure. When oh, you're so hungry, and all you do is decide to eat caramel corn. Yeah, I'm a little bit weird. I like to open my bags upside down. But yeah. I'm just starving at this moment. Yeah. I'm gonna try one. At the bottom of the bag, there are a handful of peanuts. On the packaging, I thought it was almonds, but it wasn't bad. It's all good. And looking at them all, there are some good looking people here, but I don't know. It's just nice to look. No need to touch, no need to get involved. Bumped into a few people that I knew, so it's always nice. Nice to see people outside of where you usually see them. I see a lot of people wearing the same shirt. It's the Uniqlo and Cause collaboration. It's basically Sesame, style, Sesame Street characters with their eyes crossed out. And if you have seen the video about the Uniqlo store, particularly in China, people were running to the store fighting for over the t-shirt. So I'm getting into brutal fights. But I just don't understand. It's like, is it that great of a brand? I'm pretty sure Cause is a big artist because of the popularity and the lineups that I saw. But was it worth it? If everyone's wearing the same thing? Hmm. Don't know. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I'd be the same if I really loved a particular artist.
but yeah, just an idea. Maybe I like fashion, but only if it makes me unique, you know? I'm pretty sure you'll see a few of my styles throughout the year. He just farted. <laughs> but, ooh, are you okay? Maybe you're not the best person to talk with, right? Oh well. Final thought for the day. I know I keep going back and forth about how I enjoy being single or how I want to be in a relationship. So I just had to clear this. I do enjoy being single at the moment, but I know that one day I'm going to fall badly in love with someone. I don't know. It's just... I saw this couple, and they were talking about how they're traveling the world at the moment, how they've been doing it for five years, and I just found that to be very sweet. And I know I'm going to do that with someone someday. I know that I want to travel a little bit myself, but eventually I want some company with me. But until then, keep dreaming, keep believing in love. I know it's going to happen. Good night. Good morning. My name is Sheldon, and today is June 17th, 2019, the 33rd day of being 28. I was about to say being 33, but that's not the case. It's about 7.40 in the morning. Tried to go back to bed, but that wasn't happening because Taylor Swift's new music video, You Need to Calm Down, came out, and I watched it. It was cute. I didn't quite understand the whole concept, but I did like the fact that at the end, when you see the reconciliation between her and Katy Perry, that was very sweet. And then I was trying to figure out the whole lineup of all the divas. I couldn't quite get everyone because there was a girl with a bl short blonde hair. It's like, is that Lady Gaga? But also looked like Taylor Swift. But anywho, not really sure what I'm going to do today. Need to buy some gifts for a coworker or friend. And I'm gonna try finishing reading this book. Oh, China Rich Girlfriend. I've been reading it for like the past three months. I'm a very slow reader, what can I say? It's not that I'm not into the story, it's just I get distracted easily, if anything. I watched a TV show. I think I watched four episodes and um, it's been like seven months since I last watched it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just sometimes I don't really care. No, that's wrong. Like, I'm into the story, but I don't have the desire to know what happens right away. But anywho, let's start the day. Let's get ready. Oh, did you see? I wear a night guard. Gotta keep my smile perfect. You know, when I get this tooth fixed, then it'll be perfect. So I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm just gonna wash my face at the moment. I use a little face scrub over here. Just so, cause I like having the bubbles all over my face. Just using like a generic face wash that I got with my shaving kit. So, we're gonna have fun with this, right? This is water, the little pad thing. Get some of your face wash. Just a little bit. Should be enough, right? I don't wash my face every day. Like, maybe three times a week. Aside from showering. But that's another story. because there's not enough bubbles. Gotta water it some more. There you go, right? Don't forget the neck. This is what I like to see. But I never get into this area, the part between my eyes and my nose. Cause I'm afraid of getting like a 
soap in my eyes. That always burns, doesn't it? Ew. I think I would be the worst roommate ever. Especially if we only had one washroom. Cause I love taking my time to get ready for the day. Maybe on average, I take about an hour in the bathroom. Can't help it. <clears throat> because I want to donate my hair, I want to make it healthy. So I have like a three step process. But as for a normal day, maybe half an hour. It depends if I shave that day. All right, I think I'm all done. Ugh. You ever just get water stuck in your mouth? I don't know how. It's like, for some reason, I just open my mouth while I'm washing my face. <laughs> All right. Everything looks good. Everything feels smooth. Still got soap stuck here, but that's not a big deal. So today I'm not gonna shave, but I do always finish it off with toner, or home remedy toner. Basically, what I spray is this little concoction. I need to make some more. It's basically apple cider vinegar, a little bit of lemon juice, and sake. Well, you could also use water, but I'm just extra like that. Just spray a little on my cotton pad, and dab it all over your face. Sometimes it burns, sometimes it's good. But it gives me good skin. So well, that's all that matters. My sister taught me about this particular spray. But I just use sake on my own. I think alcohol tends to have good health benefits as long as it's not for consumption. But otherwise, I'm all done. Now, what am I gonna do all well today? before it work. Oh, there you go. Better. But yeah. Probably should put on some sunblock today. I feel like I'm already very tanned. Remember how a few days I said I had the matching shorts from that lemon shirt? I'm trying to wear them today. However, my underwear is too long for them. Yes, these are women's shorts. My friend gave them to me because she insisted that they would fit me. And oddly enough, they actually do. So, it's a little bit high-waisted, but gotta wear something else today. <laughs> Not when your underwear is popping out, right? Just in the kitchen, trying to finish this blog. My website's just mostly about vacation and my poses. Yeah, a lot of photos for sure. But yeah, just sharing the adventures that I'm about to go on, or the ones that I've already been on. This one is from back in May, so if you can refer back to the first video, that's basically going back to then. But, uh, the phone's ringing, gotta go. Just because it's over doesn't really mean it's over, if I think it over, maybe back in again. Just because it's over doesn't mean it's really over And if I think it over, maybe you'll be coming over again Just walking in really And then this line came up Which i Because sometimes I feel like everyone my age is ahead of the game And I just totally Would you ever feel like that? <laughs> but oddly enough, I'm not so tired Probably because it's my two days off next, or my weekend, as you so call. I'm excited. Can't wait to watch a movie with my friend. Gonna watch Rocket Man tomorrow. And also have dim sum. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Anyways, good night. Hello, my name is Sheldon. Today is June 20th, 2019. It is the 36th day of being 28. It's currently about one in the morning. Um, I've been trying to be, I've been meaning to finish the novel, China Rich Girlfriend, but yesterday was just rather busy. I don't know. And then sometime 
your head gets the best of you. You ever just like have a thought in your mind and then it just kind of sticks with you all day long? That was me, especially around dinner time. Ooh, I got a fluff in my net eyebrow. But yeah, sometimes your mind gets the best of you, doesn't it? But anyways, we're going to see if I can finish this novel now. Got like 100 pages left. It's been interesting so far. But lately, it's been, if anything, it's been telling me how all the possessions that you have are not really the most important things. It actually just becomes a little bit excessive when you think of it. I don't know half of the brands in that book, but it does come up with good content for sure. But yeah, perhaps that's just some pillow talk at the moment. But until then, we'll see what happens in a few hours when I actually go to bed and actually wake up. So I just finished reading the book. It was pretty interesting, especially the ending. I mean, it's a little bit abrupt, but I guess that's what makes you interested in reading the third novel. <laughs> Jeez, had a problem coming up with that. But yeah, need to borrow not rich people problems. Can't wait to see what happens next. So it's about 10.30 in the morning. I just had breakfast. I read a news article that my dad sent me, or placed on the kitchen table. It was about, like, how a lobster, um, how a lobster <laughs> de-shells itself and how they are vulnerable for the next two days before they grow a new layer. It's just basically saying how <clears throat> we need to grow in order to become better people, continuously learning. I think it's applied to <clears throat> the line of work that I'm in at the moment. Again, I'm just in, like, in a beginning position at the moment, but working my way up. Um, this moment, it's about 10.30, maybe I already said that. I'm going to try watching a movie, it's called Ten Popo. I think it's about, like, a journey for making the best noodles in Japan. Um, my co-worker said he really enjoyed this movie, so I'm gonna try watching it. It's about two hours, but otherwise, just keeping it easy. My shoulder is killing me at the moment, I don't know why as I hold the camera in my left arm. Ugh. Maybe that's why I haven't been going to kickboxing in a while. I need to learn how to hit not so hard. If anyone's got a remedy for that, let me know. I just finished watching Tom Popo and I'm heading to work. But that movie was really good. It was two hours long, which is longer than I usually watch most movies. Um, but it was the way they shot the food was incredible. Everything looked so good. Some scenes were a little bit different, weird, and a little bit uncomfortable to watch sometimes. But it's fascinating to see how people are so dedicated with what they cook. And that's the way it should be, shouldn't it? Another movie that I would recommend to watch would be Rocket Man. I saw that on Tuesday with my friend. That blew me out of the water. I had no expectations of what that movie was going to be about, other than the life of Elton John. But yeah, maybe this gets me back into watching movies more often. I don't know, I'm not really a big movie or TV person, like I said before. I could go months without knowing what happens in the next episode of a TV show. But, it is summer, got more time to myself, but anywho, off to work. So I just finished work, and it seems quite busy actually. There's like a lot of cars on the road at the moment. It's almost like midnight, but can't help it. It wasn't bad today. I have a strange work week. I have two days on, one day off, two days on, one two days on, and then two days off again. Yeah, I don't know what to expect with this work schedule, but I guess I have more free time to myself. Hopefully, <clears throat> if I make any use of it, right? 
Well, surprise. But we'll see how it goes for the rest of the <clears throat> week. Right. Anyways, until then, good night.